So now that I have a fruitarian bike, this thing is designed to pack in mountains of fruit. We're gonna go do a major fruit haul in the Muang Mai market. That's how I say it. I don't care what you call it. It's my market. I've been going to little sissy markets on the side roads, living off puddle fruit. No more. We're going to the major market on my Thunder Demon bike. Let's do this. I am a vegan. You are a loser. I just recorded this whole clip, it wasn't even recording. I got a funny expression from a Thai guy walking by, we'll never see it, nobody will ever see it. So sad. So I got a killer deal on these pineapples, 10 kilos for 190 baht. Where how are you gonna beat that? Can't beat it, try to beat it. And then I went to this watermelon shop, the best shop in town. They're so red and super juicy looking. I got four decent sized ones for 165 baht. So watermelons are a little more pricey than other fruits here. I found some good ones in a Tesco. It's like a little convenience shop. And I got like, I forget, four of them for like 180 baht or something. They were super cheap and super ripe. And it's like even the convenience stores are healthy here in Thailand. It's amazing. So. I still got tons of room left in there and a little bit in there. We're gonna get some more fruit. I've been spotted. Hey, up uh -oh. up <laughs> Lovely to meet you. What's your name, man? My name is Max. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I got too let, much fruit let me, in here. Let me, let me, let me. That was pretty cool. Ran into Max. Never met him before, but nice to meet you, Max. So I'm gonna get some coconuts now. 140 baht for 10 coconuts. I think I can swing that. All right, if I can somehow fit that in my bag and in here and make it home with this monkey load of fruit, I'm a superhero. You gotta give me credit. Let's do it. 
doable. It's light. It's fine. So there's the fruit hull in its entirety. That's everything I carried home right now. That was crazy. So all that fruit and the coconuts cost me 495 baht total, which is like 1870 Canadian or 1495 American for you Yankee Doodle American Annals. American Annals. Wow. There's no way I'm doing the double conversion every time. There's no way. Even though most of my viewers are American, they don't even care about the Canadian price. I care. I care. So it's pull day today. I was going to work out at that calisthenics gym I found right next to that market, but I completely forgot. And I also was going to stop off and show you where I can get a big organic salad for $3. So I think I'll make another video on that. And pull day, we'll see what happens with that. I found a potential pull-up bar. It's a little high. But I guess we're about to find out if what man can jump. Have you ever seen that movie? Yep. Okay. It's not so bad. my gloves fruit market complete and I think we're done here for today it's bright I'm squinty squinty Robinson over here okay we're done thanks for watching thumbs up if you liked the video thumbs down if you have a pet spider but you named him Lewis instead of Henry like he asked you to he wanted to be named Henry. Why'd you name him Lewis? That's sickening. Sickening. Okay, we're done here. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.